Are you new to hand sewing? Looking for tips and techniques on getting started? In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to knot your thread for hand sewing. Hello, I'm Milena with Thimble and Plume, and we are longtime reenactors with an interest in German Renaissance clothing. And this channel is our way of sharing tips, tricks, and techniques that we have learned over the years to help you level up your clothing game. Today, I'm going to share with you two ways to knot your thread, and I'm going to do it in two minutes or less. But make sure you watch till the very end because I'm going to throw in a bonus of how to tie off after you finish your seam. Ready, set, sew. All right, go ahead and thread your needle, and you're going to take your other end of your thread and you're going to lay it over your finger, holding it with your thumb. You're going to wrap it around your finger, and you're going to come around and you're going to make an X. Have a nice little X there. I'm going to hold it with my thumb and I'm going to roll my thumb until I, I'm just kind of at the tip of my index finger. And you can see I've like, I can push this off with my middle finger. And then I'm just going to pull this thread. And I'm continuing to hold on till, to the uh, end of the thread until it turns into a knot. And that's what that looks like. Knot number two. Go ahead, thread your needle. What you're going to do, your, this is your needle. Take your thread and they're going to face each other. I'm going to bring them together. I'm going to make, again, I'm gonna make another little X. Okay. And I'm going to hold this so that I've got my needle. I've got the thread between my finger and the needle. I'm going to take my other hand. I'm going to wrap this around my needle. I'm going to do it three times. Then you can either use this hand. I, I like to switch hands for some reason. And I'm pinching it really good between my thumb and my forefinger to hold those loops in place. And then I'm just going to push that through like so and pull it, basically sewing through those little loops I just made. And I'm making sure I'm holding it real firm so that you can see the tail hasn't really moved. Pulling it through until I form a knot. So which one of these techniques did you like the best? Let me know in the comments below. And I'd also like to invite you to check out our Etsy shop, which I have linked in the description box below. And currently we have hand sewing kits available for purchase. And if you're just beginning, I know this can get really frustrating and you may even find yourself making a big knotted mess at times, but that's okay. We all have to start somewhere, but just keep practicing, keep trying the technique, and you will get it eventually. I promise. Okay. Um, and for those of you who stay till the end, here is your promise bonus. Now, I'm going to go right next to where I just came out. Teeny tiny little stitch. I'm going to do that once. Then I'm going to repeat that. And I'm going to try to get it into the same exact place I just came out of. So what that will do, that'll end up locking that stitch. But for a little extra assurance, what I'm going to do is before I pull this loop closed, what I want to do, I'm going to go in, I'm going to go through it once, twice, three times. And then holding down here, I'm going to pull that through. So I create a little knot that sits nicely on the top of my fabric. Thank you for watching and happy stitching.